Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Below the title bar is the menu bar. You can control all the functions of Outlook by selecting the different drop down menus listed on this bar. The commands are File, Edit, View, Favorites, Tools, Actions, and Help. One thing to notice about the menu bar and the standard toolbar in Outlook is that the commands that are available will change depending on what folder you're looking at in the application. So the commands listed here would not be the same ones as they would be in, say, the Inbox folder. And just like the Outlook icon, commands that are grayed out in menu dropdowns here also are not currently available. Commands that are followed by a right pointing arrow just display a side menu of available choices into which you'll have to slide to the side and give it a click. Commands that are followed by an ellipsis mark when clicked will invoke a dialog box then in the dialog box you'll need to supply Outlook with some additional information or make some additional choices before it could carry out your command. Now in addition to navigating Outlook with your mouse, you can also use keyboard shortcuts to execute commands. If you'd like to increase your efficiency with Outlook, the keyboard shortcuts for some commands are listed in the menu bar to the right of the command to which they correspond. So for example, if you click Edit from the menu bar, you could see the shortcut for the Cut command, which is Control x Now not every command in the menu bar has a corresponding keyboard shortcut. All commands do, however, have keystroke combinations that you could press to execute them. Each command on the menu bar has an underlined letter, like the F in File. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and strike the underlined letter for the command grouping you would like to view, like the F for File, you'll see the drop-down list appear. From there you'll notice that every subcommand has an underlined letter as well. You can simply press on the letter on your keyboard. You don't have to hold down the Alt key any longer. That corresponds to the command you'd like to execute. So for instance now if I wanted to print I could just look at the underlined letter for the print command which is the P and just hit P on my keyboard. And that should bring up the print dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.